Garrett Blevins here with another video log, week seven, day one of the cube method. This is three heavy squats, uh, one at 90%, one at 92 and a half, and then 95. And then bench is uh, rep day, but it's only two reps. Now, I put in here what my number should have been for today, which was 540, then a, a 555, and then 570 for those three singles. That's based off of the training number which is 90% of your best. Um, so that'd be around 600 pounds for me. For some reason last night, maybe just for my own, you know, maybe out of pride even and seeing some of what other people are doing, I upped it to 600, which changed my numbers. It, it bumped pretty much all of those reps up, about 25 pounds. But these are three 65 training numbers that Brandon Lilly prescribes which is 90% of your one rep max, kind of what you can do. The 365 training number is supposed to be something you can hit any day. I've never hit 635. That's what I want to hit at the end of this cycle. And there's no reason for me to put that in there. So I'll, I'll show you how the day kind of went. Um, I put on the singlet today, and on some of the later reps, I lower the uh, computer that I'm recording off of down to actual hip level so you, I could see if I was getting to parallel as I should be. Um, they looked pretty good. That first rep 495, that was one of my warm-ups, felt good. This I thought was one of my warm-ups, uh, 545, or actually that's 550 with the two and a halfs on there. Um, and so that felt good. So this is uh, 570 here, and um, you see how it goes. Little, little slow in the bottom, but pretty good. Um, I had my feet pointed out a little too much on a few of these reps, and when I put my toes straight forward, I had a lot better torque um, out of the bottom. And so this is 590, and depth was good there. That's as good as it ever needs to be. That was a pretty good rep, uh, solid form. It looked actually a little better than the previous one. And I stopped my squats there. And the reason I stopped my squats there was for seven weeks, those were the reps that I was doing. I had planned actually to take a uh, 610 after that, based on those that three uh, or that 635 number. But you can't just start bumping up your numbers. And I went with Brandon Lilly's philosophy, which is you don't miss reps. You don't miss reps on the cube. You may miss them because of a technical failure or a form issue, but you then you reload the bar and you finish it. He said that many times. And so his method is to make all the weights to not miss them. So why was I going to risk missing a weight? I squatted two days ago, and the week before this I had almost 50,000 pounds of lower body volume. I'm not ready to come in and hit a all-time PR like I would in a competition where I take the entire week before off, and my volume for the week before is zero where I've had time to recover. I squatted, you know, less than 24 hours away from this work, or 48 hours away from this workout. And so I think I made the right choice. All the benches felt great. The bar weight in my hands on the benches felt lighter than I'd, I'd ever had. 315, I thought I'd forgotten to put the, the third 45 on each side. It actually felt like 225, and I was about to re-rack it and make sure I'd put the right weight on because it felt so light. And so that was really encouraging as well did really long pauses with my rep work and I did up my uh, up my bench just a little bit I upped it 10 pounds because I was feeling real good that day not a big difference from 375 for 2 to 385 and I finished out with these high bar close stance uh, four sets of two with 455 these were extremely difficult I know I was tired from those singles but I didn't realize how tired I really was um, they were just really slow and difficult my legs were tired but got through the workout a little discouraged because part of me wanted to go heavier on squats. I wanted to jump ahead. I wanted to make progress. I wanted to go for it. But I knew this was not the right day to do, do it. Um, and I don't think it wasn't because I was intimidated of the weights, but it wasn't part of the program. It wasn't part of the plan. And you're supposed to stick to the plan. It'll work. And I trust this programming. I like it a lot. I like the cube method. And I need to trust what's going on. And so this is uh, these four sets of two uh, for the bench work. I put two of them in there and then squats. That's the intensity protocol with RTS. But I've been thinking, uh, I've been thinking lately about Philippians. And as Christians, we're not supposed to live in fear, but we are supposed to follow a path. The path uh, that we have has been marked out for us by Christ um, in his obedient death and in the Father's resurrecting of him after that death. 
we have the pattern for our lives, lives that are lived where we die to self and we're given new life to live to God. Um, Paul writes here, you know, Paul had, had run the way, race well, and he had made a lot of bad choices in life, in his life and good choices, but he was pushing ahead and didn't, he didn't think he'd attained everything he wanted, but he was pushing forward. And that's what I'm trying to do. I haven't attained all my goals in weightlifting or in the spiritual life, but I'm pushing forward. I press on. And that's what's on my mind after this workout. Blessings.